Join me as I attempt to make tiny works of art for my dollhouse. Welcome to The Sewing Report, I'm Jennifer Moore, helping you discover your love of sewing crafts and DIY projects. I thought I would take a little bit of a break from working on the dollhouse to make some accessories for the dollhouse. Miniature artworks. We're gonna be working with some woodless watercolor pencils, some stamping supplies, and these really cool water brush pens. So I've been working with this company called Arteza Art Supplies. They make really good, but also very affordable supplies. So they actually sent me some stuff to try out, complimentary. Now I did tell them what kind of project I was working on and I actually picked out these products. So I just wanted to let you know, yes, these are more approved, sewing report approved. And I also got some stamps and some really cool metallic ink pads from Joann's. So we're gonna, we're gonna do sort of a, maybe like a multimedia project here. And Arteza has these super cute mini canvases. I think these are three by three. Yes, these are three by three canvases. So they also come with all these easels. You can get a set of these. The brush pens are really neat. These things are definitely a step up from those brushes you remember from when you were a kid. You twist these open, insert water, put the top pack on, and then apparently you just push to get water. So I'm gonna be trying these out along with these really cool, now I saw these and I thought these were really neat. These are woodless watercolor pencils. You color in your design you go over them with one of these water brush pens and then it looks like you actually were painting with watercolors, even though you, it's kind of a cheat. I like it. And then after they're done, I may try to maybe stamp some designs over it. I'm not really sure how you sharpen these, but like it's all pencil, like there's no wood. So this whole thing, I guess these are supposed to last longer. All right, let me just try to like, make some random designs. And I guess you can sharpen these with just any regular pencil sharpener, I suppose. I don't even know. So we're just gonna try this out. Again, this is gonna be sort of an, like an abstract thing. I'm, I'm not really that much of an artist, but we're gonna give this a shot. I'm just using some of my favorite colors, little green here. Might do a little yellow. I mean, this is a beach house, so the color is gonna be kind of you know, light, bright, and airy, that sort of thing. All right, let's add a little yellow. Hit the button, I guess, a few times. And water's supposed to come out. Oh, whoa. Yeah, that definitely, that worked really well. Okay, so just be careful with your flow here. Um, all right, I might need to, I got a little water here just in case. Okay, yeah, that definitely, it definitely works for sure. I'm certainly not gonna win any awards for this piece, but you know, for a dollhouse, you know, I think it'll, I think it'll work probably okay. Let's do another one of these. Let me try to do a heart. This is gonna look very Pinteresty, I hope. All right, we're gonna put this here. Here we go, that's looking, okay, that actually looks sort of cool. You know, this would be pretty good for kids too. Like this isn't as messy as probably rather regular watercolors, I'm thinking. Let me do like a more intense purple in the middle. And by the way, I'm clearly not an actual artist, um, in case you couldn't already tell, but you'd never know with these paint pens, right? I actually really like these. Notice this really isn't taking long at all. Like this is something that's literally not very time consuming. So I sort of like that. Okay, got some more water. So this is really gonna dilute this pink. So it'll be like a light wash of pink out until the end. Let's try to do water and a sunset. I think that'd be pretty, need.
So I got these stamps and I got these really cool, they're called Brilliance Dewdrop ink pads and I am really excited to try them. And I got this whole jar of stamps for like under $10, but it came with quite a few designs. Um, like tons of fun stuff. It has a unicorn, there's like leaves. I might do the leave, leaves one maybe. All right, so let me dump these out. And then we're gonna try this. And I watched a craftsy class on stamping, so I feel pretty ready for it. So we're just gonna test these out. Oh, here, oh, actually, you know what? I wanna do the pineapple one, I think. Okay, there's a really cool pineapple stamp. All right, that one worked pretty good too. I think I'm pushing a little too hard on the ink, but that's, that'll be all right. All right, that one did not work out as well. Again, we're just, we're just having fun here, so it's okay. I got some fabric textile medium, so if I wanted to stamp on fabric, I could put the medium over it and it would be then fabric safe then. This one's sort of a wash, but that's, that's okay. So this canvas is dry enough that I'm gonna try to stamp on it and see how that works out. This is a little diamond stamp and we're gonna try this one on this uh, canvas. I'm gonna do a few stamps of it as well. All right, so let me try to get this in the ink pad and see how that looks. All right, that looks actually pretty cool. That actually looks pretty good too. Okay, I'm gonna confess, I'm having a really good time at this point. Hopefully I will have a finished shot of all of my art pieces in the dollhouse for you to see. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to The Sewing Report. If you wanna learn about sewing crafts and DIY projects, I'm Jennifer Moore. I'm also on Twitch and Instagram. Thank you guys again, and I will see you next time for another video.